Welcome to the AC 24-7 Top Story Countdown. We'll guide you through the biggest news of the day. Our focus, advocating our rights, advocating equality, advocating health, and advocating Earth. Here's our pick for number four. Oh my God. As parts of the country grapple with another round of severe storms. And all of a sudden the tornado formed and it just dropped on us. And life-threatening heat. Definitely staying hydrated because it's like really hot. President Joe Biden heads to California to announce his administration's latest efforts to deal with the climate crisis. The impacts we're seeing in climate change are only going to get more frequent and more ferocious and more costly. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is launching a $575 million project aimed at helping coastal and Great Lakes communities become more resilient to extreme weather, protecting them from storm surge, flooding, and rising sea levels. Resilience, which means communities, Communities can better withstand the impacts of climate change and extreme weather. The move comes at a critical time for homeowners in those areas. Extreme weather is one factor driving up insurance rates, and two major insurance companies recently stopped accepting new applications altogether in California. Unfortunately, the law is the insurance companies have the right, as long as they give you 75 days notice, when your policy comes up for renewal, they can tell you we're not going to issue you a new policy. In Los Angeles, I'm Mike Valerio reporting. TheAdvocateChannel.com looks at the world through the lens of equality and inclusion. Subscribe, like, and share now. AC 24-7's Top Story Countdown continues with our producer's pick for number three. I'll be out with several disabled vehicles uh, here in front. Sheriff's Deputy William Hollingsworth arriving on scene in Escambia County, Florida, Friday to help a stranded driver stuck in rising floodwaters. After exiting his patrol car, he says he saw a driver vanish underwater and immediately went in after him, only to be sucked under himself. The sheriff's office says for 30 terrifying seconds, Deputy Hollingsworth was pulled underwater sucked through a drainage pipe for nearly 100 feet. His body camera capturing the rushing, muffled sounds of being submerged. Until finally, he's able to resurface. Deputy Hollingsworth immediately rushing to the driver to see if he's okay. The two audibly emotional about their near death experience. Oh, just breathe. Just breathe, oh my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh. oh Jesus. Oh, die too, buddy. Suck me in. Oh my God. I did. I never had my back down my life. I mean it. Afterwards, the driver thanking the deputy for his actions. I'm glad to do Thank you, man, for, for like being there when I come up. Like the Advocate channel on Facebook for the best way to get updated stories that advocate for equality, justice, our rights, and more. AC 24 7 continues with today's top two pick. Walking the streets of Sacramento is a dream come true for this 31-year-old migrant. But the first time she set foot in the California capital, she felt confused, angry, and betrayed. Unfulfilled promises, says the migrant who has not to be identified for legal reasons. It was in a shelter in El Paso, Texas, where she says two men approached her with the offer of a lifetime. A paid trip on a jet to California and the promise of a job and housing. She said they offered her a job so she was happy and signed. This after she spent two months traveling from her native Colombia to the U.S.-Mexico border. She describes the difficulties of the jungle, the train, starving, sleeping on the street, begging for money. 
porque sientes que llegas hasta lo más bajo. She is emotional and says it's the worst because you feel like you are at your lowest. The offer, in the end, was too good to be true. But it was made to a total of 36 migrants who traveled on two separate charter flights from Texas to Sacramento. Cuando llegamos acá, ni empleo, ni casa, ni dirección de vida. When we got here, we didn't have a job, nor a house, nor direction in life, said this 34-year-old Venezuelan migrant who was part of the first flight. The migrants are at the center of a political battle over immigration policy, with Republican governors like Greg Abbott of Texas and Ron DeSantis of Florida sending thousands of migrants from Texas to Democratic-led cities. Acá no vinimos por política, acá nosotros vinimos pues por trabajo. We didn't come here for political reasons, we came here for work. But he says he wants people to understand their suffering ya fue, ya vamos. and their desire to work. Somos seres humanos. Tenemos sentimientos. She says they're human Tenemos beings familia. with feelings and families. Follow the Advocate channel on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated on stories that matter every day. We're now at our number one story of the day. Take a look. We're doing everything that we can do uh, to locate uh, the submersible and rescue uh, those on board. Search and rescue teams from the United States and Canada are working around the clock in the North Atlantic to locate a lost submersible with five people on board. Search planes have been scanning the ocean's surface, sonar buoys deployed to try to detect any sound from the missing vessel. The location of the search is approximately 900 miles uh, east of Cape Cod uh, in a water depth of uh, roughly 13,000 feet. According to the Coast Guard, the submersible lost communication with its mothership, the Polar Prince, less than two hours into its descent Sunday morning as it ventured towards the wreckage of the Titanic. The company that operates the submersible on voyages to the Titanic, Ocean Gate Expeditions, releasing this statement. Our entire focus is on the well-being of the crew, and every step possible is being taken to bring the five crew members back safely. On board, businessman Hamish Harding, who is no stranger to adventure. I've always wanted to do this. Recently, he was a passenger on Blue Origin's June 2022 space flight. <laughs> on Saturday, he posted on his Facebook page, I am proud to finally announce that I joined Ocean Gate Expeditions for their RMS Titanic mission as a mission specialist on the sub going down to the Titanic. Also on board, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Dawood and his son, Suleiman Dawood. Their family issuing a statement saying, We are very grateful for the concern being shown by our colleagues and friends and would like to request everyone to pray for their safety. According to Ocean Gate Expedition's website, the 21-foot, 23,000-pound submersible made of carbon fiber and titanium has up to 96 hours, four days, of oxygen for five people. Larry Daly, a Titanic expert, has been inside the 21-foot vessel. I was in the sub for uh, 12 hours. We have our own breathing system on board, and if that's maintained properly, like changing your uh, filter and your CO2 scrubber, you can stay down there for you know quite a few hours. In an interview with CBS last year, Ocean Gate Expedition CEO touting the submersible's safety. Everything else can fail. Your thrusters can go, your lights can go, you're still going to be safe. Thanks for watching the Advocate Channel's top stories. We're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Follow, like, and share, or check out advocatechannel.com for even more stories that advocate for you.